do that. <laughs> um, I use a variety of box cutters and different kinds of scissors. I really like the spring-loaded ones. These are Kai. They're like a heavy-duty vinyl. I don't even think they make them anymore, but they're, they're the best. Um, I started out using uh, these Fiskars uh, spring-loaded ones, uh, but obviously they're not as heavy-duty as these. I like the box cutters because, you know, they make short work of stuff. Um, I started out using a clamp like this, but it slid around a lot, so my husband made me this. It's um, screwed onto a piece of steel, and another twisty clamp turns it on. So uh, you can, when you, the blade, you use the blades fairly quickly, uh, and I use um, needle, uh, some pliers to break them off and then put them in an envelope for recycling. I keep it on my bullet board. So I start doing the pockets. The hardest part about the pockets is getting that bar tack stuff off at the top. And sometimes the fabric is a little bit um, worn here, so you have to be careful. But it doesn't, I, I find I don't really use that stuff as much at the top. I do a lot of straightening before I make things. Because even though it looks deconstructed, I just have ways that I like to do things. Once you get those things off the top, then it comes off pretty fast. Yes, I have cut myself many, many times. Uh, I sell pockets and belt loops and waistbands, and I have a bin of seams. Uh, I cut the zippers off. Uh, I do sometimes use them for like a back neck zipper or something if they're in good condition. I haven't yet put them on Etsy. I just listing on Etsy is not my favorite part of creating. It's a necessary part. I struggle with photography and I think it's kind of, you know, pretty usual stuff. The creating is the happy place. Uh, I can make a jacket out of four pairs of jeans. I use the leftovers from that for patchwork. I use the leftovers from that for my applique stuff. Oh, uh, I will put all of this stuff that I'm using. I'll put links to the stuff that I use if you're interested. Uh, if you, if it's an Amazon link, it's an affiliate link. So if you purchase there, thank you. The belt loops are kind of the part where I cut myself the most. I go in between the seams here to get the waistband off. And I have to go back this way. It's secured really good at the center front, so you have to kind of go back and depending on the jeans, sometimes you have to get between the two front pieces in order to get it off. This has got some extra stitching. I love my clamp. Belt loops first. Sometimes I make holes there. I don't try to. It's not really a super usable spot either. Some of these tags are nice and leather and heavy. This one's not too great. I try not to rip these two, but sometimes they're worn and they can't really be saved. I've got bins of those. I've seen um, stuff on Pinterest. I'll put a link to my boards. Really awesome ways that people use all this stuff. Jewelry and really creative. I love being inspired by all the wonderful things other people do.
Um, if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this, I also have some ideas for upcycling clothing uh, that I'd like to do videos on. Subscribe, and you'll get notified when I put another video up. I was monetized, but they changed the rules. Now you have to have a certain amount of subscribers. So if you feel like it, I'd appreciate it. Always put your blades away. Ask me how I know. And then uh, this inseam, I've seen people make... Um, coasters. I use them for market bag straps on my plain unlined bags. I have a customer who's carried hers for three years. It holds up really awesome. I, I, it was really nice to see her still using it. She didn't expect to, you know, it wasn't a place where I expected to see her. So it was cool that she was carrying it. And it was really nice to see that the, um, strap had held up and the whole entire bag you know it was nice and frayed and she loved it and washed it a ton of times and that's one of the things about you know it's not going to shrink one of the hard things about doing things with denim is often there's a stretched out portions and that can cause challenges when you're trying to put it together because one side will be more flexible and you have to make it fit in the pattern. I use patterns. I, I, I put things together kind of freely, but I use patterns because I like to be able to repeat the size. So everything I make is one of a kind because I'm using different denim and it has a different look and I'm not copying the patterns or the placement of the pocket shadows or anything like that but I use patterns so that I can repeat the size. Uh, I cut this back seam off. I haven't found a use for this. Someday I have to put a bunch of this up on Etsy so people who make jewelry, I mean, they put the wire in this and then they make one of those little bracelets. I cut the zippers off. Sometimes I reuse them, uh, but most mostly I have some that need to be I have to figure out a way to use them. I do donate things to scrap places, and they haven't said no. So I use the hems as hems in some of what I'm doing. So this is the piece that I have. This is the piece that I leave. Sometimes I cut this piece off because um, when you sew a bunch of them together, it makes a lot of texture. But this is like the biggest piece I can get out of a pair of jeans. And so that's where I start. Thanks. Subscribe. Any questions, let me know. I'll put some links at the bottom so you can see what I'm up to. Thanks.